Okay, I was not planning on filming this video clearly because I have no f pants on but we're gonna visit cats today so I'm gonna tell you there's been a problem I wanted to adopt a cat for a really long time I think I'm ready to be a cat mom but my husband didn't want it after much harassment from your part because I love my Instagram followers And if you don't follow me there, go sh go check me out because it's it's fun. It's it's fun. Instagram is still not dead on my side. Okay. Anyway, oh the guy with the cats is texting me. I picked up like a cute outfit to film a get ready with me so we could go visit my cat. My cat. It's still not my cat, but I picked up a nice outfit because I wanted to to you know match her energy. So today I was looking at uh, cats on Facebook because adopting a cat by an animal association has been so complicated and I had a lot of friends telling me that people really do com be complicating your life here to adopt a cat or a dog or whatever. So I decided to go on Facebook and I actually found a really cute association which is a couple of university girls that find feral cats and try to provide them homes. So I thought that was really cute and I saw a cat and I contacted them and I said there's no preference for gender or color. I just want a really, really sweet, sweet kitten. And I think I should be getting dressed while I'm telling the story. Okay, let me put some pants on. So I said I have no preference, but I do love black cats and I do wish to have a black cat. It's not a requirement, but I love them. And they said, they sent me a photo of two cats and I really liked one of them, but they can't get in contact with the adoptive family and they don't pick up. So they said, okay, you can go visit these two cats by this area and no strings attached you don't need to stay with them they actually have such a cute story which i can later tell you guys about but i was really moved by their story and um, i'm gonna go visit these two cats they said that the female is really sweet and they're black and white i, I honestly i don't care as long as my cat is sweet i don't care how it looks like so i also found out that these cats are literally five minutes away from my house so i need to get my husband and my ass out of this house now because the guy said that i need to go now because then he's gonna go out and i don't want to not go visit these cats anyway i'm gonna get dressed we're gonna go we're gonna see if this is the cat if, if this is the one we're gonna see okay Mwah. see you in a couple of minutes i didn't even have time to do my makeup i look like a fucking crackhead diogo get ready Okay, we're back. You wanna tell everyone what happened? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what happened while I'm cooking sad girl noodles. I really need some sad girl noodles right now. Cause I'm actually like really sad. Really, really sad. Is this milk? Is this good or is this expired? I don't know. Anyway, yes, I boil my noodles in milk. God, this is normal milk. It's fine. I'm choosing death today. Okay, so I went to visit the cat and immediately when I opened the door, the mom of the cats comes and greets me. She's a little black cat. She's missing a leg because she had to get her leg. And she's missing a leg because she had to get her leg amputated. But that cat is so sweet. I immediately looked at Diogo and I was like, I want to take her home now. The other two kittens, her children did arrive. And one was definitely more playful than the other. But I don't know, I just felt like a special connection with the mom and the mom just kept like coming to my lap and being super cute with me. And the other two were obviously a little bit scared, but it's fine, I can definitely deal with that. But I left a little bit heartbroken because they said the mom is not up for adoption. So the adoption family opted to stay with the mom. So yeah, she's not up for adoption unfortunately it's okay we still have one more cat to go and um we're gonna see cats until i find my little child for now this is it i'm having sad girl noodles okay guys we're going to pick the cat up my sister's driving she said she doesn't want to be on camera because she looks ugly 
My nephew's in the back. Uh, we're gonna go pick up the cat now. She's like 15 minutes away from Lisbon. We already bought supplies. So even if, I don't know, like even if I don't like the cat or she doesn't like me, I have to stay with her now. <laughs> so we're gonna go. Wish me luck. Do you wanna say something? My sister doesn't want to be filmed, but do you want to say something? I'm excited to meet the, the black cat. The new member of the family? Zanya is a, a, a conscious uh, cousin. cousin. <laughs> she has a cat, her name is Concha. And that's it. That's why she's driving me, she's so excited. She's more excited than, than my husband. In yeah, meters, I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, last minute, I can take that cat. For her, yeah. she was already she was already scheming. Like she was like, "Oh, why don't you drop the cat at my house today, and then you'll go pick her up tomorrow?" I was like, "Wait, what? What?" Exit right. Anyway, gotta go. Following the GPS. In See you in a couple meters. of Exit right. I don't know hours, I guess. Oh, look é who's sim, here! Colinho. Look who's sim. here! Aninha, sim, ela gosta. Aninha, filho, Aninha, ela gosta de ficar bebê. assim, Aninha. Ela está a segurar a minha perna. Look who's here! Não, não, tens que mesmo agarrar, senão ela vai querer fugir. Hi! Unija! Unija! Zinocas, did you like her? Yeah. Yeah? My sister wants to keep my cat yeah. now. <laughs> She's like, can I take her home? Yeah. Oh my god. So we're gonna go home and settle her up. Meters. To the home we go with a new cat. Woohoo! This house is dark. Okay, wait. <laughs> Your daughter's here. She's so cute. because she's so dark. I think you can only see eyes, I don't know. But she's inside in her little bed. She loved her little bed. She came right inside. And she's not, I wouldn't say she's scared, but she's just relaxed. She hasn't explored the house yet. There she is. Oh, she's purring! Good morning, people. I'm looking for Uni and I can't find her anywhere anywhere there's absolutely no spot that she could have hidden in and i can't see i'm looking for her for like an hour and a half i know that cats disappear but all the doors from the other rooms were closed and at night i kind of found her on the sofa because i was like a little bit worried about her she was just like chilling on the sofa so honestly it's like at this point i tried calling her with food I saw that she ate, but I just don't know where she is. Cats are so weird, man. I found her. You are such a crackhead. She was hiding behind my books. I actually found these books all out of place in the morning, so I tidied them up, but I wouldn't guess that you were here. You little crackhead. Why are you like this? Come out, come out. You got a friend in me. Say bye, Uni. Say bye. Thank you and subscribe.